This time the Quick Speed Shop, I'm back on the Model A Hot Rod Shop truck. I'm going to redo this lower firewall. Alright, so when I built this truck originally in the kitchen, uh, I was going for like a rat ratty ish thrown together junk look, so I used this diamond plate firewall uh, for this lower firewall here, and I don't like it now, so I'm going to get rid of this diamond plate. It's actually open behind this, this the, the, the tunnel is steel, and then there's a support bar that goes along here that makes up the tunnel, but behind this is open uh, into the cab, so I'm going to undo this aluminum, get rid of this, I'm going to make a new steel firewall welded in here, get everything all ground down nice and sealed up, so I'll have a nice sealed up steel firewall. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this off, and we'll get a look at it and see what it looks like uh, back behind there. Alright, bam, check this out. I stripped off the aluminum diamond plate. Here you can see what I had behind here. Uh, a couple of steel plates where I had the throttle mounted, the uh, steering column mounted, the clutch master cylinder mounted. Then the uh, rest of it was pretty much open. I've got my piece of 16 gauge. I've already went and I've used the existing uh, firewall for a template here. I've laid off some of my holes and I'm about to trim this out, but you can see uh, get up in here like this. I've already mounted my holes. I'm going to go ahead and use the Beverly shear. I'm going to cut this out and then we'll start to fit in here, trim it up here. There's a nice lip on this this tunnel I can weld to and then I'll just spot weld it. There's angular iron that's framed all the way around this lower structure. I think I'm just going to spot weld this thing on here and then seam sealed up and it'll be good to go. So I'll cut this out and then we'll go from there. Alright, so I got the uh, piece trimmed out here. It's uh, pretty much fitting good, pretty decent all the way around. Um, I got to trim just a little bit more off the uh, tunnel portion here. I've marked on the other side of the marker to the lip where this has got to go. You can see this lip here I made out of a strap stock. It's going to weld onto that. Then uh, I got some marks are going to plug weld into this angle iron here and just plug weld all the way around. I've got a couple of bolts holding it right now. This is the, uh, where the throttle pedal bolts from the inside. So I got it laid out. This hole here is for the throttle linkage which comes through here your clutch master cylinder hole and then I still haven't cut the steering column hole because I'm changing steering columns. I had a full size uh, GM like non-tilt GM column in here and it's too big so I'm changing to a more uh, old school column. So I'll be locating that and cutting a hole for that in a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and work on the other side now and I'll go from there. Got the other piece uh, roughed in here. I've got a big overlap here. I'm going to cut it at this red line and then butt weld these two together but here it is bam I'm gonna go ahead and do some trimming and take this off I'm gonna cut my steering column hole down here which I figured out the heater hook kicked back on don't worry about that but it's looking good for roughing in um, so I'm gonna take both pieces out trim up a little bit punch the wiring hole on this side and do a couple other tweaks I got the passenger side of the firewall right here I'm gonna be putting a vertical bead roll here and a horizontal or, or angular bead roll here. If you can see it might have been shiny. So I got these lines. But the way the die is set up I've got to re roll it from the reverse side. So this is the back side and I've got the bead roller here. What I'm going to do is this, this die moves up and down here so I can get the panel in here. I'm just going to pick this up and set it in here where I want to start rolling. And then take my lever, crank it down and uh, start pressing it into the steel. And now I'm just going to take my wheel and I'm going to wheel. Let's see, this way. It's a lot easier, two people here, but this is a small panel, so it'll be all right. I'm just going to trace my line. So I'm just going to trace the line here. It's my head in the way. Just trace the red line. Stop. Back it off. Now you can see here on the back side, so on the front side we're starting to get a bead roll here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it a couple more times. This is 16 gauge, so it's going to take a little bit to uh, work it in all the way. Crank this down another shot here and we'll go ahead and we'll roll her again.
nice little bead roll. I might do it once more for good measure. And roll her in. Stop. Bam, we got our detail on our firewall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other panel and then it'll match and we'll go back to the truck and put them on there and see how it looks. All right, bam, check it out here. Got both sides bead rolled and uh, just gotta get it ready to fit up in here. The bead roll and distorts the metal a little bit so I gotta flatten it back out and get it ready to clamp down, but I think it's ready to weld in. Um, I'm gonna weld it around the edges and I'm gonna use the grinder and grind this flush to this under section and weld that together. But uh, that's going to be it. Let's see how the this detail matches this deal, detail, sort of. Gives it a little extra action. All right, bam, I got half the uh, firewall welded in here. Here's my plug welds around the outside to the, uh, you can see the angle iron frame. I've shined up the spots where it's going to be welded on. Then there's going to be continuous weld bead along this, uh, this formed lip of the tunnel. Um, we left the metal just a little bit long here so I can grind it right in the shape perfectly and then I'll, I'll finish welding this up here but you can see when I grind these uh, plug welds down flush be nice and smooth and then I just got my few holes for my mount my uh, stuff is gonna be mounted the uh, line lock here the clutch slave cylinder here the steering column hole and the two bolts for the uh, throttle pedal and then the throttle linkage comes through this hole here and then I got a grommet hole for uh, oil pressure gauge and a temperature sender and some wires so it's gonna look up, it's coming out nice, it's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side trimmed up and clamped in place and weld that in. I got everything all welded up here now. I got the other side in, welded my seam down the center and uh, I trimmed the edge of this with a grinder back and then tapped it in and welded this. You can see I've started grinding this a little bit to smooth this up. So I'll grind all this down. I think about doing this lower firewall in white like an old 60s build because it's gonna look kind of 60-ish when I get this truck together. But the engine leaks oil and has blow by like crazy, so the thing will get completely filthy if it's white. So I might use Ford Model A engine green, which is close to this color, but then it wouldn't match. I don't know. I gotta think what I wanna do. I could also flat black it to match the outside of the truck, because I'm going back to flat black on the outside. But then it's black on black on black. I don't know. I might wanna have some color here, even if it gets filthy. People can look under and they'll be like, oh, look at the white firewall. So I don't know, i got to think about that, but I'm going to go ahead and get this all ground down and dressed up nice. So I think I forgot to film me f doing the final grinding on this and uh, hitting it with the DA, but it was all shined up real nice, and I forgot to film it, but bam, check it out. I've got primer on here now, and I think I figured out what I want to do for the paint scheme. Um, I'm going to flat black out around the edge of this here because um, the, the body's going back to flat black on the outside. I just sprayed this. This is shiny, but it'll, it'll flatten up. Then I've got uh, antique Ford engine paint green, which is pretty close to this color here. I think I'm going to leave this original paint up here on the firewall. I'm just going to fog this in down here with the uh, Ford antique green paint to kind of match. And I'll probably just paint this tunnel black, but I'm letting the primer dry. i got to put seam sealer here where my weld seam is. I'm going to smooth all this out and uh, goop it up with seam sealers so there's no uh, edges that could get water and rust on them. When that's dry, I'll fog all this. I'll mask it off and fog all this green. And then uh, when I go back to flat black on the outside, I've got original paint here on this lip. So I'll, I'll sand this green back and then I'll flat black it back here so it looks like it'll be like the truck has the original green paint under the firewall. And then it was just primered on the outside, is, which is what I kind of want to go for. Um, so I'm going to paint that all up. I've already painted the inside flat black. Um, the rest of the truck's flat black on the inside already. And so the inside of the firewalls are done. So when this dries, I'll, I'll seam seal it and I'll mask all these holes off. And then I'll scuff it with scotch Bright and I'll shoot this lower half of green. And we'll see what that looks like. All right. Oh. All right, so there we go. You can see that uh, I decided to paint the entire firewall. Um, this is pretty close to like original color seam would be is having this... Uh, this forest green or whatever. Uh, originally this truck was all green as you could sell in the tank. Um, it would have been green of black fenders. This was a double A 
a ton and a half truck cab, which is the same dimension. The cab's the same as a half ton truck, but the frame and all that's bigger. But um, originally it would have been green and black, so I'm trying to go replicate a look like if I just grab this cab off a uh, truck and build a hot rod out of it and just threw some primer on the outside because the paint was all nasty, so I primer the outside, but I left the firewall original color under the hood. So I'm trying to replicate that look, I guess. I don't know. It, lo it looks good now. I'll paint it one color. And uh, the hood's on this when it's all put together. It's hood on, the hood's on it, so you only see about this much of the side of the firewall anyways. And it looks a heck of a lot better than when we started with that junk diamond plate on here. So I'm happy with it. It's got the bead rolls to match the other bead rolls. It's all one color, so I think it looks good. So that's it. I'm calling it done. Next time we're going to go ahead and we're going to start working on the rest of this cab. Um, I'm going to change the back of the cab. Uh, originally when I built this, I'd cut the entire... Uh, the truck was pretty much junk. It was just the cowl that was savable, so I made my own roof and all this nonsense. And I don't really like the way it came out, and I got a little couple of tricks we're going to do to straighten that out. But we'll get into that next time. So as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to put a circle all the way over there. Bink! Get the uh, coil holder bracket. Go ahead and hit that to subscribe. Put on new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so uh, tell your friends, hit the bell for the alerts, and as always, we'll see you again at the Quick Speed Shop. Where is it? At the Quick Speed Shop. Bam.